Hey guys, Chris here. Uh, I wanted to put a little updated uh, video up here on how to uh, manually add and remove songs or videos from your iPhone or your iPod, if you're still using one, or an iPad, um, whatever device you're, you're using from Apple. Um, how to get those songs onto your iPhone or off them manually. Um, a lot of times the default setting is uh, to automatically sync when the iPhone's connected. So what that does is when you plug in your iPhone, uh, it's gonna look at your iTunes and say, okay, you have these songs on it. I'm gonna sync it up to your phone. That way the songs are on it. This is great if you just use one computer all the time. If you have more than one computer, um, then say you have a Van Halen album on this computer and then you go and plug into a different computer and you have a, an ACDC album on that one. Um, it's gonna erase whatever songs you have on it from this computer when you plug into the next one if you allow it to, and try and put those songs on it. So basically this is gonna allow you to, if you have multiple computers, you can add, drag, and drop different songs onto your phone without it trying to sync to every song that's on that designated computer. Um, it may sound complicated, but it's really not. It's just a pain when it's trying to sync to everything you have on computer, your computer when maybe you just want two or three songs from that computer. So that's why it's important to uh, have this manually manage music and videos box checked. So that's going to be your first step. Now, the thing is, is if you've already synced it to a different computer, you have a bunch of music on it, and you choose this, I think it's going to ask you to um, basically erase everything that's on your computer to start for, on your phone to start fresh. I don't know if there's a way around that. So um, the best thing is to do is uh, if you have music on there, um, go ahead and uh, erase it, get it off there, and, and start fresh. Um, it's just it's easier that way. Uh, just so you know you're not losing anything you don't want. Um, so you wanna have this manually uh, manage music and videos checked. So you're gonna go into your iTunes and let's just say I wanna put this Ben Miller band song on there. Um, it's really easy. All you gotta do is click and drag and your, your phone's gonna show up. I just call mine gold member, it's gold, cool. Uh, click, drag and drop on there. So now if you go onto your device and you see what's on this device, music, there it is, 23 skidoo. So, um, as easy as that was, it's just as easy to remove it by simply clicking on it. On your keyboard, hit the de delete key. It's going to say, are you sure you want to remove these selected songs from your iPhone? Hit delete, and it's gone. Uh, say you want to put multiple songs on there. Let's say all these. Same thing. Click, drag, and drop. Go to your phone. There's those three. Again, you can delete them individually or select them all and hit the delete button, and they are removed from your iPhone. Uh, this is the same thing for iPad, you know, again, iPod, however you want to do it. Um, it all works the same. So uh, it'd be the same thing if I, I don't have any movies in here, but if you had, say, movies, I just click on the movie, drag it to your device, and it would be there. If you wanted to remove it, click on movies, click on that that movie, and delete it. Um, so it's pretty, pretty simple. Um, again, this is really nice. If you use multiple computers and say you have some songs on this computer and some songs on the other one, it's going to let you put those songs on it, the ones you want. Um, you know, if you go to a friend's house and they have a cool Amberlynn song on there and you wanted to put it on your computer uh, or on your iPhone, you could plug it in, drag and drop it. It's good to go. Uh, compared to when it's set up to automatically do it, it's going to try and sync to every song that's on whatever computer, computer you plug it into, and that's just kind of a pain. Um, so this works all the way around. So let's say like some podcasts I have, I'll listen to a lot of the Nerdist. Uh, say I want to get this one off it, just click it, delete, and it's gone. Um, so it's really easy to, to do. Um, I you know prefer this method compared to automatically syncing because I'm picky and I want to put certain songs. I don't want an entire album, say, of uh, ACDC or whatever. I don't want every song on there. I just want certain songs maybe I'm going to be in the mood for. So... Um, again, just a real quick recap on your device under summary, you're going to scroll down and you're going to make sure manually manage music and videos is checked. Once it's checked, you go to your iTunes library and just simply drag and drop it to your phone. And there it is. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions or if I was unclear on something, leave a comment and I will respond uh, the best I can to, to try and help you out. So I uh, hope this helps and uh, good luck on your ventures.